Right, we're going to dump the water coming out the boiler so you can see what colour's coming out of this. Lovely and clean. It's got to be one of the best shows of what's in your heating system from a long time. If you follow the hose down, it goes into this machine. We'd like a pint of brown water. And this is the sludge and the magnet from corrosion in your heating system, which basically is what's screwing you over, causing your boiler to overheat. And this is just from the boiler at the moment. This was emptied out the radiator the day before and left to sit. A nice pint of Guinness. Right, gonna dump the water one more time just to give you an idea. I know I said it would be a quick flush, but really it won't because this spoiler is absolutely gipping. So we're gonna be on this for quite some time. We've been on it for what about two hours on just on the boiler, just yeah. In a minute, once this drains out, I'm gonna show you the uh, magnets on the boiler. We can have a little look and see what we've got going, but if you just look in the sink you can see how bad it is considering this is a white sink. It's uh, quite bad that to be fair. No wonder the boiler wasn't working. The boiler used to run for about what five minutes was it? About five minutes before it overheated. And the uh, hot water was never any good on it. So that's it drained off. We'll take off one of the magnets. Give us a second. These magnets catch the sludge, the slop and the crap. Right, so you can zoom in how bad that one is. You can look down that end. This magnet one, and you can see the metal, how, how it should look like. And then, we'll do magnet two. This has got to be one of the worst flushes I've seen in a long, long time. Oh my God, right, this is magnet two. And you can see if you zoom in, little bits of iron ore, rust and everything there. If I, obviously I'm wearing gloves, they have to be purple gloves, otherwise you are not a professional plumber. Any other colour doesn't work. You see if I just try to slop that up off the magnet, you can see how thick and crap that is. Uh, we're going to have to clean off these magnets and then we're going to go again and go again. Now we're just going to clean the tubs, the magnets off into this plastic tub here. Again, magic purple gloves. You've got to grab hold of it and pull it down. So, gives you a little idea. Have I? It's just sloppy slop. And this is what's obviously what's blocking the system. So, that's one magnet clean. And for everyone of you can let complaining, I've got muck all over the worktop. It's me mate. Thanks, magnet. Same job. So you've just got an idea if you look at that. That's all the magnetite from just out the boiler. We haven't even started on the radiators, but we've already got a picture of the typical cold spots in the radiators. You just zoom in on there so they can have a little look. I'm sure somebody will have something to say about it, because they always do. Remember, none of this work could ever be carried out without purple gloves. On the thermals, this radiator is cold all the way here, and the heat's only going round the side and round the top. It's pretty useless. So using a hemid wheel and the Adley agitator, we're going to put a hole in the it now. We're going to vibrate the radiator. <laughs>
paint that dust from the radiator. We'll do this a few times and we'll move the return from flow flow to return. Remember turn off all the other radiators first. And the paper gloves. Right, so we've uh, we flushed two radiators and we've gone to and fro for a few minutes, well probably about an hour. Just gonna quickly check on these magnets. Yeah. Again, so I'm just going to clean this one off. Slop. Oops, all over the worktop, but it's alright. Because it's my mate's house and his wife is very good at cleaning. Yeah. There's one magnet, and we've got another magnet on the other side, which we'll have a quick look at in a second. Now these come up from the two radiators in the front room and as you can see it's all lovely. We'll get this one off and then we're going to, if you can just see all the rusty bits in there. Now my mate said this looks like something he found in a pond. I can assure you, there's no pond here. Right, let's have a look at the magnets for the third time today. Ba -ba -ba! Little knobbly bit. Next magnet. Da -da -da. Who says power flushing doesn't work? Well, we'll soon see in a minute. 